And debt is not something that Allah has allowed. Lots of people. أَكْثَرُهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ كَافِرُونَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ Most of the people are corrupt. Most of the people make shirk. Most of the people disbelieve. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored me. That's all I care about. And that's what I'm going to care about, Yom Qiyamah. Let's see, let's see. What is Allah? The messengers of Allah. On the last day, we're going to go to Adam, our father, through which all of us are created. We have this arrogance of nationalism and tribalism. We are from the same father. We all interrelated somehow. But the shaitan gets us all twisted. We're going to go to Adam. This is our reality. We already know. And he's going to say, nafsi, nafsi. I'm only concerned with myself. I'm only concerned with me on that day. And if that's the case with Adam, with all the prophets except Muhammad, we, we, we have something to look after. I'm happy that Allah favored me with his love. I don't know about you. I'm happy. I'm so happy. You know, I was a Catholic. My mother's a Catholic. And that's a hard reality to deal with. When, you're, when your people pass away, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> When your people pass away, you can make up to them what you can't do to them in the dunya. I can't do that. When your people pass away, your people's is Muslim. Your mother's Muslim, your father's Muslim. You can make hajj for them if they didn't make hajj. You can give sadaqah for them if they didn't make sadaqah enough. You can do things for them. When my mother pass away, I can't even make dua for her. Do you understand the nepma that you have? Every soul is going to taste death, brothers. Have you heard about Islam? Have you heard about Islam? This dean, the newest dean on the planet, is the best thing out there. The real deal. All we have to do is surrender. All we have to do is surrender and just practice this deen, this beautiful deen. Follow the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's who we gave our allegiance to, right? I'm really happy that Allah blessed me to become a Muslim. And I'm, I hope that you will be happy with the ni'mah. That not only did Allah bless you to be Muslim, but he blessed you with a mother and a father, the Muslims, cousins and family. I wish I had that. I wish I saw my father just pray two raka, just one raka. I wish I had that. You know, I wish you don't know. You really don't know. Having mothers, that's whores. You know, y'all don't know. No one's seen your mom's drunk. You don't know what it's like. Then it's hard seeing that coming to Islam, and you can't even express that to them. You can't even talk to them about it because it ain't. It's not accepted. It's not accepted, you know? And then to see you brothers, some of you brothers really, are, it's like crazy. And you want to act like us. You want, you want what we got. You want this. You know, you brothers come over here. You want, to, you want to dress like my brother? You don't know what we went through. You don't know why he's a straight. You, you got a blessing. <coughs> you can't count. You can't enumerate the amount of blessings that you have with being Muslim and having a Muslim family. Muslim family. Everybody loves their families. Allah tells us, what do we recite? And don't cut ties with the wounds that bore you. But there comes a point in my life that I have to cut ties with the wounds that bore us. When they pass away. I want y'all to think about that. Think about that.
الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على مصطفى وآله وصحبه ومن اتقى أما بعد All praise belongs to Allah and that's enough for a man to understand It's enough والصلاة والسلام The source of peace and perfection be upon the best of those sent The Prophet Muhammad, the chosen one and his family and his followers and those that follow him until the last day. We say in the Shahada, Muhammadun Rasulullah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But many times we don't understand what that is supposed to mean for us. So I want to remind us with something. It's a children's poem. However, it might be pertinent to some of us because it explains what it means when we say Muhammadan Rasulullah. Then every Muslim must concur Muhammad is the messenger sent by Allah and so we trust everything he said to us. We must obey his orders and reject the things he called haram. All sacred laws must come from him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This encompasses the meaning of Muhammadun Rasulullah. Many times we talk about La ilaha illallah and we don't get to understand what does it mean Muhammadun Rasulullah. When we say La ilaha illallah, the mafhum, the understanding is, is a rejection of shirk. Singling and isolating out Allah for our ibadah, for our allegiance here. But likewise, we make a pledge of allegiance to the Messenger of Allah, to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-Mustafa. We make an allegiance to him. Then every Muslim must concur. And the opposite of the, the allegiance to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is following his sunnah, the opposite of that is making bid'ah. Just like la ilaha illallah calls us to tawheed and tells us to get away from shirk, Muhammadun Rasulullah, it calls us to follow the sunnah and to leave off innovation, bid'ah. That is doing anything that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't command us to do as an act of worship. Because every Muslim must concur, Muhammad is the messenger. He is the messenger sent by Allah. So the first point that we have to understand about Muhammadun Rasulullah that we say when we say Muhammadun Rasulullah is that we're bearing witness and swearing that we swear that Muhammad was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.